We're here at the sixth Global Forum for Combating Anti-Semitism. And first of all, a personal question. Six, lots of talk and things aren't changing. Isn't this a bit despairing? Not despairing. Uh, look, we have our challenges. Things are actually changing. I think when you look at the program of the things that we're talking about, we're talking about new things that we did not deal with in the past or that we did not deal with at the same level of intensity. For example, we're very, very focused this year on new agendas, the problem of the far right in Europe and what these parties mean, the problem of intersectionality and anti-Semitism in progressive circles. We have, um, we're dealing with the issue of religious practice in Europe, which is all kinds of legislations against both Jews and Muslims. But we also have things where we're moving forward. For example, we adopted at this global forum an instrument of the Israel Ministry of Justice together with ministries of justice from Europe, which foreign ministry helped to bring together in order to develop a document, an agreed document about how to make the internet a place which is safer from cyber hate and safer from anti-Semitism than it currently is. So my answer to your question is that, yes, it's a little bit despairing. On the other hand, we're making some progress and I think that we have a lot of people here a lot of synergy and we're coming together around ideas and strategies. In terms of the progress, is it, uh, would it be correct to say that maybe people become anti-Semitic people around the world, but in terms of the governments there's an, an understanding that this needs to be fine? I would say that that's a mixed bag because uh, some of our problems are at the governmental level. Sometimes we have things that are uh, anti-Semitic in effect even though it's not necessarily the intention. We have a whole panel about, uh, about Holocaust revisionism, primarily in Eastern Europe. And the things that are happening uh, in Poland, for example, with the Polish history law, uh, are very, very serious issues. Uh, I'm not, we're not saying that the Polish government is anti-Semitic. It is not. But the law itself is making a problem for the teaching of the history of the Shoah in Poland. And what does this mean? It's also brought about a very serious anti-Semitism in the Polish media. So I agree with you that governments often understand that anti-Semitism is a danger to their society. But sometimes governments are also the problem. You know, talking about anti-Semitism in Europe has really become something that is so, so common. How about what we're seeing in America, North America? In North America, we decided to discuss this very seriously as well. Um, you know, our tendency, the American Jewish community is quite secure. And they also have institutions and organizations and law enforcement and political power and cultural power in order to protect themselves. But we did decide to have a special panel devoted to the issue of the neo-Nazis in North America. And uh, we invited the former mayor of Charlottesville, Mark Signer, to come and talk uh, together with the whole panel. Uh, Yair Rosenberg was a journalist from Tablet who was attacked, and uh, Eric Ward, who was an African-American activist, to come and talk about what these trends mean, and are they becoming strengthened, and what to do about it. So this is something that we looked at pretty carefully as well. Do you feel that this uh, conference, uh, this uh, global forum, is something that could bring to practical uh, actions? I think that it's the job of Israel government, of Israel Foreign Ministry of Foreign Affairs in cooperation with the Ministry of Diaspora Affairs, to create a platform where all of the important forces and peoples and civic organizations and political powers can come together to talk and to try to coalesce around this. At the end of this Global Forum, we will be preparing a document which will be essential recommendations and findings. And we're going to try to point the direction. We ourselves cannot carry out the work plan for defeating anti-Semitism by ourselves. Our job is to get everyone who's interested in this and capable to point in this more or less in the same direction. And that linkage that you're talking about is actually very unique for this state in the, you know, the world of states. This is the Jewish state and the Jewish state, state of Israel, is responsible for fighting anti-Semitism around the world, not known, and not only anti-Israel. Uh, look, the Israel Ministry of Foreign Affairs certainly sees it this way. We understand uh, the defeat of anti-Semitism, the defense of Jewish communities everywhere as a, one of the most important foreign policy goals and directives of Israeli foreign policy. And uh, that's why we're doing this.